back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back here with a pick a card reading for you. Um, and I just want to say welcome back to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Thank you for your friendship. Um, thank you for everything you guys say and do in the comment section. You guys are so sweet and kind to each other. So I'm so excited to be able to create a space where people feel confident and secure enough to be vulnerable. So thank you so much for being here um, and for supporting this channel in every single way by showing up, by commenting. Um, if you're finding yourself here for the very first time, welcome. We would like to welcome you with open arms into our family here. Um, I do pick a card readings on this channel. So please pull up a chair and grab yourself some snacks and a cup of tea and we'll have a little bit of a chat because we are all friends here when we gather at my table. Um, today's pick a card reading, we're looking at a no contact situation and will they reach out to you? Um, and what will come about if they do? <laughs> what will be the um, result of that contact if they do reach out? We do have three piles for you to choose from today. Um, we have pile number one here um, with the Tarot of the Divine. Um, I think it's called Tarot of the Divine. And we do have the pink orchid here to signify pile one. Pile number two, um, we have the sunflower, um, and I believe this is the Wildwood Tarot, I believe, and pile number three with the Golden Girl Tarot and the blue flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, whichever flower is calling to you, um, know that there may be a message waiting for you today from Spirit. My mess, my call, <laughs> my timestamps, thank you, <laughs> are listed below in the comment section. Um, or sorry, in the description box below. And if you're attracted to more than one pile, please feel free to check out both piles. There could be messages waiting for you. Um, keep in mind, I am dealing with the collective energy, so um, every pile can't possibly uh, resonate with everybody in every single situation. But if you're not resonating with that pile, just try a different pile or a different um, reading perhaps. But I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Again, this is a no contact a love message, I guess, sort of a no contact situation. Will they reach out to you in the future? And what will come about of that contact if they do? Pile number one. Hello, everybody. In pile number one, you were drawn to this pretty little pink orchid. Um, or perhaps to this deck, this Tarot of the Divine. A very beautiful, bright, vibrant deck. And this is your reading. A no contact situation you find yourselves in. Will this person on your mind reach out to you? And what will happen if they do? Um, we have the Nine of Cups. It's coming out in the reverse for you as your first card. I feel like there's an impatience really growing <laughs> um, inside of somebody watching. Real impatience. Will they reach out the future of this connection? Are they going to reach out to you in the future? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Will they reach out? How one... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. interesting the wheel of fortune and the tower coming out in the present energy for you is this person going to reach out to you in the future the near future is what we're hoping for here and we have the ace of cups uh, back of the deck is the four of swords which sort of indicates the no contact situation that we find ourselves in it this particular card too really talks about deep restriction because oftentimes the four of swords can talk about rest meditation ease that sort of thing a time of healing but in this case, it really feels like somebody's being kept away or doesn't feel like they're able to um, reach out in this connection. Can we clarify the Nine of Cups, please? Will there be contact? Will this person reach out? We have the Queen of Wands. So somebody, there's Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. And I'm smiling to myself because I can sense um, a... a <laughs> kindred spirit amongst you if you're you're in this mode with the queen of wands this volcano erupting behind her because she does not like to be kept waiting and she wants results now nine of cups reverse it's like i'm looking for quick results i want it now i'm frustrated that my desires are not coming into fruition you're annoyed that this person is not contacting you <laughs> um and perhaps rightfully so um, we do have temperance on the back of the deck showing itself so you could have been waiting for a while which is why you're getting frustrated and also i feel like if you haven't been waiting a while you are not the type to be prepared to wait a long time it's like i'm not waiting for this person will they reach out please 
we'll clarify this row and then we'll get into your message. Spirit is already speaking all sorts of things. Woo! Explosion. And we have the lovers coming out. Will they reach out? Oh, we've got some. We've got a lot here, Spirit. Let's see. Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, and Knight of Wands coming out together. Lots of fire energy here. Can we clarify the Ace of Cups? Oh, we have the High Priestess. There's almost an internal expectation that there is going to be reconnection here. There's like a, an internal expectation. It's like there's, for somebody watching, it's, it's the sense of you would be really shocked if you didn't hear from this person ever again, but you are frustrated at the fact that they have allowed so much time to go by perhaps without contacting you. We have the Four of Swords here. Again, back of deck energy. This sense of restriction, somebody keeping us apart or something keeping me from getting to you. We have the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So the Ten of Cups represents a lot of emotional abundance and it's what we're seeking when we're dealing with love connections. Um, this person could feel like they're separated from that emotional abundance because of the separation or you could be feeling like you're separated from your emotional abundance. Like this is the person is the key to your happiness. This person is the key to making you feel fulfilled in a way. Um, and it could be a very sort of mirrored energy here. There is confusion though with their current situation. There's confusion with how they feel. Here's the thing, group one. I see contact coming in in the future, the Ace of Cups, and particularly the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower leading up to that offer. Um, there are multiple messages coming in here. And of course, um, like I said, as, as I started this reading, um, I deal with lots of different energies. So lots of different messages are coming in. So if it doesn't resonate with your situation, just know that um, there may be another pile that is waiting for you that will. For some of you, and this is not for everybody, for some of you, this person feels restricted from coming towards you because there could be something in place. The Four of Pentacles here can be a concern about my home and what I've started to build up in a foundation. There's some sort of decision that needs to be made here, some sort of choice. Now, this insecurity doesn't have to rest with a family situation or, you know, a home situation or, you know, children. It doesn't have to be that. It can be and that can be your situation. It can also be um, a decision to risk it, to be vulnerable, to, to risk my ego and risk, um, risk getting hurt to pursue this. Uh, because we have this Wheel of Fortune, we have the tower here. So a sudden turn of events is upon you. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about that. Somebody got a must have gotten a new bicycle or something. <laughs> um, there is a sudden turn of events um, coming in your favor, but at the same time, there's this tower energy. So it's, a, it's in your favor, but it is causing some chaos, um, some destruction per potentially for someone in this connection. Um, it's per potentially a necessary means to an end, but it is sudden it is unchangeable after and it is sort of destined for the two of you in a way because the wheel of fortune the tower these are very strong major arcanic energies that are really defining this um connection right now along with the lovers along with the high priestess there's secrecy there's decision there's attraction there's lust even um particularly with the king of wands here and this knight of wands um there is a desire to sort of leap forward and go after what i want despite the fear of this um destruction even though there is fear with the four of pentacles because that knight of wands doesn't think about consequences he charges in with the heat that he feels um and he doesn't really worry about what the consequences will be after that um so i do see movement here i see them coming towards you um with a lot of heat it could be very physical <laughs> the way that they approach you um, but we do have that ace of cups here. So I do say that, or I see that they are going to come forward. Let's see what life will be like, or what's this offer going to entail? Let's clarify that Ace of Cups, please. What comes after the offer spirit? After the reconnection? Um, the High Priestess is underneath. And in some cases, it could be that this offer comes in in a very sort of <laughs> sneaky way, in a hidden way. That, again, will not resonate with everyone. We have the star. 
What comes after the offer? The magician. Communication is going to open up for you. And for those of you who are starting to kind of wane in your hope of the situation, you have the two of swords and the five of cups. There will still be a choice to make in the future when this offer comes in. And again, for some of you, it's just the, the decision to leap with boldness into something that we want for fear of rejection or for fear of getting hurt. For others, it's an actual decision. This person or you will have to make an actual choice here with the two of swords. Um, oftentimes that two of swords is portrayed as somebody blocking their heart or their throat or, you know, trying to protect themselves and not seeing the truth, not wanting to make a choice. Um, because with this new be offer, with this new communication opening up, we have the star, which is hope and, and potential. It sort of leads the charge. But this particular um, star card from the Santi Morte Book of the Dead Tarot, not every card in this deck is muted in color, but the star card is. And it's supposed to be bright and vibrant and hopeful. Um, so it shows that some people are starting to lose a little bit of hope or they don't have a lot of faith in this new offer coming in potentially because of what's happening currently or what would happen if this um, opportunity arose because somebody feels like they're being held back. Um, somebody feels like they're not able and it's a, a potentially a prison of their own design, but there's something about it that makes them feel like they can't approach. We have this five of cups. There's regret in the future after this um, offer comes in. There's um, fear of loss. Um, sometimes it, it speaks to not being able to see the opportunities right in front of our face because we're so stuck in the past um, when it comes to this card. So I do see connection coming forward for you, uh, Group 1, um, but I see it sort of causing a little bit of chaos potentially, and I still see indecision in this connection in the future, even after that, that contact opens back up. It's also, um, with the Magician present, it's also a lesson from Spirit that we are the ones who are in charge of, of our choices once this communication opens back up. We sort of are creating the blueprint as we reach these moments. So we have to be very um, clear with the universe about what we really want. And let's get some advice. Or let's, you know, let's switch gears first and see how is this person currently feeling about you. Let's get some message cards here. Um, how is this person currently feeling about, about group one? We have finances and career are a factor right now. Um, it could be that they're sitting in a situation with this four of pentacles that we kept seeing um, where they're fearful of losing something physical, something tangible. The four of pentacles is earth energy. So it could even be finances or financially bound or home bound. Um, it could be that they fear risking <laughs> some stability in order to branch out of their comfort zone. So please take that as it resonates. Advice, please, for pile one. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So if you're frustrated, if you have the option to reach out to cause this, um, to sort of be the, the caveat of change here, Spirit is encouraging you to do that. They always encourage us to speak our truth. They never encourage us to sort of keep ourselves suppressed. Um, we also have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So for those of you who do resonate with this person potentially being a part of some type of a foundation that they are deciding between you and this foundation or vice versa you yourself are in some sort of foundation um, that may resonate with you on the back of deck how does this person feel right now what are their current feelings we have intuitive communication silent whispers of the heart um, and, you know, with this Nine of Cups, those are like a dream that you really want. Like, it, 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 there's a lot of intent behind the emotion of the Nine of Cups because it leads us to this abundance. So oftentimes, especially if this is a soulmate or twin flame connection, we can sometimes almost absorb their energy and vice versa. Uh, there can be this intuitive communication that happens and we don't even realize it's happening. And this person is saying that that's, they are trying to communicate with you. Their higher self is trying to communicate with you. We have harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. Um, self-confidence and courage is the key to change here, is the key to motion. And I will say this, you know, that's why I really see, um, I see movement here because the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands are both very power-driven. 
They're very self-confident. They know what they want and they go towards it. They're much more powerful than this four of coins energy, but the tower, the fear of it all is a burden. The fear of chaotic change or irreversible change affecting this connection or affecting their life in general is something scary. We have sacred earth mother, a message of love for you from this person. How does this person currently feel, please? What are their current feelings? The power one. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? I think of the Nine of Pentacles when I see that. They put you up on a pedestal. It's like you've worked hard to get to where you are and you deserve to be where you're sitting in life. Um, and I think that they put on rose-colored glasses when it comes to you, probably. I just want you all of the time. Fire, Eight of Wands, I think of with when I see that card. Fire, communication, wanting to communicate, but it did want to present as reversed. Um, I don't feel like you guys can communicate. It's no contact reading, so I assume you are in no contact. You already know. Like that inner knowledge, I said that, that inner knowledge inside, you already know they're going to come forward. You can feel it. You can feel that intuitive communication. It's almost like being in the eye of the storm, you know, like the calm of the storm. It's like it's swirling all around you, um, but you just have to step out into the chaos. They are waiting for you, waiting for you to, to create movement and change here. And it could be vice versa. You could be waiting for them um, while whilst they're waiting for you, you could be waiting for them. It says you are right. I'm too afraid to talk to you. And then this one came out as well. Do you think about me too? And you know, they're too afraid to talk to you, but why would that be so? Is it because of your temper <laughs> or is it because of something holding them back? We have, I dream about you a lot, probably more than I'm allowed to, probably too much. Some messages for you. How do they currently feel, please? I'm not used to this connection, so to a connection like this, so I run from it. Because a connection this deep means a lot of pain if it doesn't work out. I have a gift for you, and they're going to bring it forward with that Ace of Cups. New emotional starts or opportunities upon us in the future, but it's what we do with that emotional start that really paves the way for success. I have been doing spell work on you and I do reminisce a lot of the times that we have spent together. Really um, focused on the past here, especially when we saw that Five of Cups earlier. But I am situating this karmic situation. Some of them are declaring that they have um, a karmic situation in play right now. Get some of these cards. <clears throat> Their current thoughts of you, what they like to say this moment, they have no contact. I'm scared that I have missed my chance. I am going to make contact soon um, because you came into my life and changed everything. And that's the fear now too, though. That's the fear of changing everything because comfort zones aren't always a great place to be in, but they're at least comfortable. It's like you can get used to anything. If you stick a frog in boiling water, it will die and drown immediately. It will suffer. But if you put a frog in cool water and increase the temperature, it can survive a lot longer, even though it's still not in a healthy con conditions. I thought I had more time. Let me out of the friend zone. They never got an opportunity for some of you to express some of that passion, which is why it's building up um, so so profoundly oh sorry these three fell out but they're <laughs> giving me problems we need to talk you see right through me it says keep your chin up don't forget to stay focused in the present moment and i feel like this person sometimes plummets maybe into feelings of helplessness um maybe they suffer from some sort of depression or some type of um some type of anxiety too that it could even be that if it's not some sort of physical thing holding them back if it could be anxiety fear depression you know that holds them back as well let's get a charm bowl for you here group number one 
Group one, what is going to happen after this contact? Advice from spirit in the bowl. Whoops. We have a big explosion. We won't take all these cards. I'm sorry if I wobbled you. Let's try that again. <laughs> Advice. We do have the Ten of Swords. Um, Ten of Swords. Oh, I don't know what that one is. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Sudden turns of events. Two of Wands. Somebody's been making plans. Um, definitely in the fantastical realm, they've been making plans. And uh, I feel like there's going to be motion. I feel that those plans are going to be put into action. Um, some cases I see the two of wands here as somebody sort of focusing out here with the world in their hand, focusing on closure, focusing on reconnection, when they do have this wand behind them that they're sort of ignoring. So please take that into, con con into context if that resonates with you. Um, we have the Ten of Swords and we have the Wheel of Fortune. We saw that Wheel of Fortune as the sudden turn of events in your connection. And this Ten of Swords is really speaking about changes needing to be made to the plan. <laughs> you know, like we need to go back to the drawing board because what's led us to this disconnect um, and the fear and the chaos that they're fearful of creating through reconnection, um, there needs to be a, pl a different plan in place so that we can create abundance here. The Ten of Swords is sometimes, again, a sense of worrying about giving up or should I give up? because there's been a lot of pain here. For some of you, it could be a very long standing separation, but that beautiful sunrise reminds us that, you know, we can't make plans from a place of despair. We have to make them from a place of positivity and objectivity. So there are beginnings possible here. Let's get a charms for you. Okay, we have K and B and E, Kev, Kevin for somebody. We have the hospital, so there could be a hospital, nursing, doctor connection, health connection. We have the frog spirit, um, often associated with feminine energy. Um, it really talks about prosperity. Um, it also speaks about, you know, somebody who could be very intuitive, especially with this high priestess showing up, somebody who is very connected to spirit and who has a lot of abilities perhaps potentially somebody who navigates the spiritual and the physical realm very easily so that could resonate with you we have the dolphin which is a symbol of um, staying focused and happy and um, optimistic it can also indicate somebody in this connection is very chatty likes to talk a lot we have here do as you would be done by almost too simple but it's all we need to get by and then we also have the mermaid and the mermaid for me is a symbol of a siren who's sort of luring us to something that could be dangerous. All right, group one, that's what I have for you today. Hope that it resonated with your situation. And if it did, I would love to hear your story in the comment section. Even if you have to come back after the contact happens, um, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Um, if you have subscribed, please drop me a comment below and be sure to hit your notification bell so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free read that I do on a monthly basis. I will be drawing that name this week, um, so be sure to put your comment below. You can check out my Instagram account. You can check out my Etsy page. It was where I offer my readings. Um, and if you go to my Etsy page and it's empty, it just means that I have sold out for that day, but I do relist daily and I'm staggering my listing time so that I can make it more accessible to more people. Um, so please keep checking back and con connect with me through Etsy and I can help you to sort of catch a reading. Um, but I really hope that you come back here to YouTube, to the Tarot Cottage so that we can um, enjoy each other's company again in the future. And I hope that you have a beautiful day today. Take care. Hello everybody in group number two, you were drawn to the um, brown eyed Susie, little sunflower here. And this is your reading, no contact, will they reach out to you? And if they do, what's gonna happen afterwards? We're gonna take a peek at what's gonna happen after they contact you, if they do. Also look into their current feelings um, regards to you in this connection as well with some message cards. So are they going to contact group two? Will they come forward and contact group number two? This no contact situation that they find themselves in. Are they going to break? Oops. We have the page of wands. Um, you could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius. They could perhaps have fire in their chart as well. well. You don't have to, but it talks about intent. 
talks about hopefulness. Um, will they contact group two? Will they reach out? So we have here the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon on the water, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Will they reach out? Whoops, Eight of Stones and the Ace of Cups. Back of the deck is the Queen of Swords, the Swan here, and she's looking a little bit irritated too. I don't know if you've ever dealt with a mother swan. They are exceptionally fiery tempered um, and they do not tolerate anything that is not serving them in their space. So can we clarify that page of bows before we get into the reading? Woo, will they reach out? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Four of Wands reversed. We have the Eight of Wands coming out. Oh, I also have the King of Swords with the Eight of Wands and the, um, you know, what, I'm gonna put those back and we're gonna we're gonna try again because that was the Strength card, the Eight of Swords. So we'll keep them in mind. Um, if you could just give me one or two cards, Spirit, for the indicators. We're trying to keep it simple today. <laughs> Keeping it simple. Will they reach out? Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands, Abundance. Clarifying the Eight of Stones, will they reach out? I feel like this person could be very much um, the shaman, the um, magician. I feel like they could be very much focused on building up a strong foundation. They could be a, an earth sign and I feel like they're really focused on trying to build up abundance for themselves right now. Can we clarify the Ace of Cups? Too many, Spirit. We, although I do like this. We have the Three of Vessels. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and you know what? I'm going to keep them. Spirit says to keep them, so we're going to keep them. So... Will they reach out? We have the King of Swords here that showed itself earlier. And the Knight of Wands. Um, Eight of Cups, rebirth underneath that knight. So this person really feels like they missed the boat. <laughs> um, I don't know if there were arguments in the past. For some of you, I feel like there could have been arguments in the past um, with this person. Not, I don't think it's anything serious, but just arguments that may have um, led to an abrupt ending here for some of you. For others, I feel this is a sense of this person ill-equipped to handle how they felt in the past and they couldn't express it in time. Um, there has been a lot of growth for them in this period though, and they do have intent of coming forward with communication, and I feel like they're working on it right this moment. Um, because we have here the Ace of Pentacles, we have um, the Eight of Stones, we have the Shaman, the Magician, and all of these are about you know, putting in work towards communication, towards new beginnings, and the communication card, or sorry, the communication planet of Mercury is ruled by this, is influenced by this magician. So it's about creating new beginnings through our actions. And I feel like this person is willing to put the work in as well. Sorry about the no noise outside. I don't know what's happening on the street, but um, I do see reconnection because we also have the Three of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles, we have Ascension, we have Reunion, we have reasons to celebrate in the future, and it seems abundant, um, it seems um, productive and happy, it's like it's everything they've worked towards, this Ace of Wands, all of their desires that they had in the past, it's like they've, they've worked hard to overcome their insecurities, they've worked hard to overcome their fears and the things that they, are, they have suppressed and they are ready in the future to come forward. They're working on that right now though. This is present energy. They're working on that confidence. Um, they're working on the offer and they're building up a lot of financial success or some sort of financial abundance that they hope will sweeten the pot for you, <laughs> if that makes sense in the future. Um, the Six of Bows Abundance, um, it talks about sort of faking it till I make it, like having this air of confidence even if I don't feel it inside. And that's what they're trying to accomplish. They're trying to accomplish 
uh, it's almost a false set of confidence through their abundance. And in that way, it'll give them, when they feel like they're abundant enough to approach you, when they feel like they um, are confident enough, that's when they're going to come forward. And that's when they're going to offer this new, the truth of how they feel. To offer finally the truth. They have evolved from a, and for some of you, it could have been quite a minute since you've heard from this person because it seems like they have evolved from this firecracker youth to this intelligent, almost, I feel like, like entrepreneurial vibes from this person. Um, the king of arrows, the king of swords is one who's very focused and intelligent and a leader in their field. So I do feel this person's putting in a lot of work towards themselves and they have evolved. They have ascended. Um, do they still hold this fire for you? 100% here, <laughs> Knight of Bows, the fox. Um, what if they've evolved to like this this leader type quality? Their passion for you has not been able to evolve to the Knight of or sorry, the King of Wands. They're still stuck in Knight phase because they're still in the pursuit of you. I don't feel like this is someone that you have even perhaps even been with physically um, in that type of sense. Um, but they're still focused on that and they're still hoping for that to happen in the future. Uh, but I do see them coming forward with a lot of honesty, a lot of truth. And look what's capable of coming out of this. Look what's capable of coming out of this. The Ten of Cups, your cup runneth over. This Ace of Cups is just the first step towards like a potentially like completely fulfilling um, situation or relationship between the two of you. That's what they're hoping for that will evolve out of all of this action. Um, they're currently in that planning phase. Let's get a little bit of advice or see what's going to happen um, with this Ace of Cups. What's going to happen after the offer comes in, after they reconnect? Hello. We have the Ace of Pentacles. It's in the reverse. They're stressed about it. They're worried about it. And you'll notice all these pentacles in the center of what they're focused on, this tangible growth. Um, they're still worried at, at this point, like it's not enough. Um, they're stressing about the offer. They're stressing about the reconnection. The Hanged Man. The hanged man can mean many things. You know, the hanged man obviously talks about surrender. Um, and that can, does not have to be a negative thing. It doesn't have to be, you know, a surrender to something negative. It can be, it sort of reminds me of that serenity prayer. It's like the power to understand the things you can change and the power to understand the things you can't change and the, the wisdom to know the difference between the two. Um, I feel like they have a little bit of a false sense of, of what you want in life because they're so focused on abundance. They feel like they need to spoil you and perhaps they do and they should. And that's a wonderful thing. But they seem to think that that's the most important thing right now is to impress you, to, to get to a point where they have so much to give you. Um, and I don't feel like that they're stressing about that. And I feel like if they just realize that there's so much more depth to your feelings that um, it would help them to... <laughs> not stress so much about this plan. Three of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles here, back of deck with the um, Eight of Swords. So they're juggling a lot right now and they feel like they're not ready to come forward in the present moment. But I don't feel like that connection is, is far off. They don't feel like they're 100% ready in the present moment. Um, and they do feel stuck and restricted right now. Again, it's their perspective, though, that's keeping them trapped. It's not a real actual imprisonment. Um, and they're not seeing things 100% clearly because their opinion of themselves is, is lower than what it should be. Um, they don't value themselves. They definitely put you up on that pedestal. Um, so I feel like so much celebration, happiness is capable here um, after reconnection. So much emotional abundance is going to be open to you. Of course, spirit will never force that upon you. They will um, walk with you no matter what you choose. You don't have to accept offers that present. How does this person currently feel? We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's the thing. They have this idea that they have to be it's almost like over the top financially specifically abundant with this person. <laughs> um, they, they feel like they have to show a certain amount of strength when it comes to you. Um, when it, it actually comes down to a lack of self-love, a lack of confidence within themselves. We have, you deserve love. 
you are lovable and you don't see them the way that they see themselves, of course. How do they feel right this moment, please? You have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, in many cases, this card really speaks about the opinions that we form of ourselves and our ability to kind of navigate these emotional connections. They stem from childhood. They stem from our parents, to be honest, and from the people who are supposed to be in place to teach us how to navigate these things, to lead by example oftentimes. And they, they're human beings. They fall short. And at times we feel ill-equipped to be able to go after what we truly want in, in our hearts. Um, that is something that we have to, honestly, we have to heal ourselves. Our parents aren't going to come forward and make it better for us, unfortunately. <laughs> we have to understand um, that people can only meet us to the capacity of which they are able. And so if we can meet them at that place as well, and we can start healing and forgiving um, who fell short, we can start healing ourselves and get a clear perspective of us and our situation and our value and what we bring to the table. And this person, I don't feel like embodies that right now. They're going to get there. They're working on it though. We have codependency at the back of the deck. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, they're definitely addicted to you. <laughs> they're definitely feeling um, heat towards you, want towards you. And they did see this connection as a gateway towards that emotional abundance that they felt like they missed out on um, in the past. How are they currently feeling? Oops. We have you are wrong coming out. They felt like they were wrong in the past for not behaving, at, for not acting fast enough, for not putting into action what they wanted as well. How are they feeling right this moment? They're waiting for you. Oh. There's a, you know what, when I saw that card, it really, it almost, I almost got this sense of like someone in, and this obviously isn't, well, most likely, <laughs> I should never say never, but this is most likely not um, a, a true fact for you guys watching, but I almost got this vision of somebody in jail for a long time and having someone waiting for them on the outside, you know, <laughs> but obviously take that as it resonates, but that's an image I just had in my head. Sorry about all of noise on the street today. What are their current feelings, please? What are they feeling right this moment? I want to start a family with you. They think about that. The Ten of Cups does speak about emotional abundance and abundance in every realm. Everything that leads to this. And a lot of times that's family, children. Whoop. How are they feeling right now, Spirit? I need time for me. I feel like there's, they need more time to plan everything. They need more time to figure everything out, to figure out what path they want to take. Do you ever think about me? And we have think before you act. I feel though that they should have acted before they thought in the past and it would have saved them a lot of heartache in this situation. Um, and now I feel like they go, they have nothing but time or they've had nothing but time to just kind of go over around and around in their mind what it is that they should have done, what it is that they want to do. I am terrified. They may be a bit of an over planner, planning for every, every scenario in this connection or in the re reconnection that they want in the future. I am obsessed with your body. We did have the codependent um, card come out for you too, which is sort of reminds me of the devil energy too. So Capricorn could be a significant sign in this connection. It does not have to be. Um, they want you physically. <laughs> I said that with a night of, of wands. They want you physically. They haven't had the chance for some of you to express themselves in that way. They also want to let you know that they would put in as much work as necessary to make you happy in that area. Let's get some more messages. How do they currently feel? Oh. I reminisce a lot about the times that we spent together. Obsessively so, though, I feel. 
I have been hurting without you. You have no idea what I've been through. And that's the other impression I'm getting is that they, they wish that they knew what you've experienced over this disconnect and they want you to know what they've experienced over this disconnect. There's a friendship vibe that I'm getting here too. I have been hurt by love before. Which adds to their fear. I don't feel like they allow themselves, though, to stay in a state of anxiety or fear too much. They seem too practical and they seem busy all the time. Um, but I feel like it could creep in at night. I'm done running from this connection. They are planning their approach. I know that you were right. I'm trying to forgive myself is on the back of that deck. How are they currently feeling? What are their current feelings of you? We need to talk about a few things. I need to clear the air. And the King of Swords is all about clarity. He's leading the charge. We have losing you is my biggest regret, but it, it's double-sided and it says I want you. It hasn't changed. It's a regret, but their desire hasn't changed. It says you are about to fall in love. You are about to fall in love with that ten of that ten of cups. Um, I see signs of you everywhere I go. I am thinking of you right this second. I'm coming back. I have never been the same since I met you. And also, you'll never know how beautiful you are to me. Back of the deck is, I am learning to release the past. Let's get a charm bowl for you, group number two. I just keep banging my poor cup on top of the, on top of my desk. Group two, the future of this connection, advice in the bowl from spirit. We have the chariot. Oh, we have the little uh, mermaid from the last reading that didn't get put back. So a siren potentially. So cancer is driven by, I'm sorry, chariot is driven by cancer energy. <clears throat> and we also have the Magician and the Queen of Wands here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Um, the Magician is about communication and about power, the power that we hold over all of the elements. Um, it speaks to manifestation abilities, and the decision has already been made, is what Spirit is saying. They've already made their decision about approaching you. And now they're just sort of trying to figure out if they have the strength to do it. <laughs> they're trying to figure out if they can um, pull it off and, and, and put into action what they really want here. We, they are a little bit concerned about how you view the situation. This black cat with the Queen of Wands is sort of a warning to us that she doesn't like to be um, messed with. She's warm. She's beautiful. She's abundant. She's fiery. Um, but she also doesn't like to be messed with. She's sort of besties with the Queen of Swords, in my opinion. Um, but she is also, again, this, this spirit of desire for this person. They want this. <laughs> she is very much attractive and they're really focused upon that, but they've already made the decision to come forward. And now it's just pursuing, um, their fears and overcoming their fears to communicate with you. Ooh, we just had the W or the M fall out. Okay, so we have the letter F. I'm sorry, the letter E, the letter J, the letter S, the letter M, and the letter A. We have a little fawn here. You may have known this person in school, and you may have known them when you were a young person, a young child, a teenager, that sort of thing. We have pizza. Um, we have the sword of truth and justice, which that king of swords sort of flies in with. Um, because that's what's coming at you. We have the sudden turn of events with the um, Wheel of Fortune. We have Anne. And we also have uh, the Elephant in the Bull, which is my sign for India, but also about um, leadership and power and authority, endurance. 
All right, group two, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonated with your situation. And if it did, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel and please hit your notification bell and drop me a comment below if you do so, so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. I'll be drawing that name from my comment section from my videos this month um, at the end of this week. So be sure to hit your notification bell so that I can notify you if you are the winner. Um, please be aware of people who are approaching you in the comment section um, or at Instagram as well who are offering readings. I do not approach people for readings unless they've won the reading and I will never ask you for money if you've won a reading for me. So always keep yourselves safe um, from scammers who seem to be targeting a lot of tarot channels right now. Um, but I hope that you check out my Instagram page because I do offer a chance to win a free mini read over there on a monthly basis. Um, you can check out my Etsy page as well. That's where I offer my uh, private readings. And if you go to my Etsy page and it's empty, it just means that I have sold out um, for the previous day. But I will um, update that page on a daily basis and I'm staggering my release times now for my listings so that there's other people who can get an opportunity for a reading. Um, but I really hope that you come back here and visit me here at the Tarot Cottage on another day. And I hope that you have a beautiful day today. Take care. Hello, everybody in pile number three. You were drawn to this pretty little blue flower and the blue deck here, the beautiful Golden Girl Tarot deck. And this is your reading. Um, no contact with the person on your mind. Will they reach out to you? And what will happen after they do? Um, what will be the result of that contact if they do contact you? Um, and we'll also pull message cards to see how they're currently thinking and feeling about you as well. So let's look at their future intentions. Are they going to reach out? We have the Hierophant here. So we could be dealing with Taurus energy. Oops. Will they reach out? We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. They're uh, stressing a little bit about that offer if they do have plans to do so. Um, there's some reason why they're stressing about it. Could be stressing about their position in life in general. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Will they reach out? We do have the Hermit. Um, back of deck is the Ace of Wands. Can we clarify the Hierophant, please? Ooh. We have the Fool. We also have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is the student of the deck for me. And in some cases, you may have known this person in school because the Hierophant actually speaks to um, institutions like education as well. Um, you could have known them when you were a young person here with the fool because that speaks to very young youthful energy a time when we're kind of carefree we're not it's like a time in our life where we don't see consequences um honestly i'm getting this sense of 16. you may have known this person when you were 16. <laughs> so just keep that in mind obviously that's a specific number not for everybody but there's a sense of a school connection here um sometimes the page of swords is also the watcher of the deck i did have someone recently in the comment section get a little bit annoyed that I kept saying that about the Page of Swords, but that is one of my indicators here that they could still be kind of trying to keep tabs on you. So, um, but I feel like there's a school connection. Are they going to reach out? Get the Two of Pentacles. They've been toying with the idea and stressing about this idea. It's like they've gone over it in their mind um, over and over. And, um, without making a choice. It is a card of decision too and card of, of imbalance of feeling like I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities perhaps. And that here thing can really talk about the roles that we place ourselves in in life too. So they um, have a strong connection perhaps to the role that they're sitting in life right this moment. Oh, well, we have the six of cups um, with the judgment card. Can we clarify the hermit please? Will they reach out? The Six of Cups is my favorite card in the deck because it, of the type of love it represents because this person looks at you with very beautiful rosy colored glasses. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles here. In the back of the deck is the Tower and we have the Lovers Reversed. Hmm. So I don't like being the bearer of bad news. 
and um, I don't like that. Spirit is not showing them connecting with you in the future at this present time um, or in the very near future. They're not seeing that because we do have this tower energy at the back of the deck with the lovers. Now, the tower can indicate sudden turns of events and sudden changes and sudden um, um, chaotic things that create chaos and turbulence and uh, an opportunity to rebuild sometimes. But we have the lovers reverse underneath that. And to be honest, and I have to be honest with how um, I view things, for some of you, this person could actually be in a solid foundation or you could yourself be actually married. Um, the actual marriage could be in place, because, or not with this person, but with somebody else. Um, because the lovers is reversed, so it could even mean um, that approaching you at this time would mean chaos for their current situation for this Ten of Pentacles. Um, returning to you, this return, the Six of Cups is a reunion card. Um, and we have the judgment. They could be concerned about being judged for their actions, but it's also a self-reflection that they're doing. Um, the hope for fresh starts, but it's like they're in this stage of like reflecting upon the past to see how they can resolve and change it to create movement in the future. It's not that they're not hopeful for um, a reconnect with you. I feel like they really would love to reconnect with you and they'd love to reach out. But at this moment in time, they are stressing about it because of their position here and reaching out to you at this time I feel, especially if there is a physical marriage in place, they're worried about that. The lover's reverse can speak about breakups and bad choices and, and a physical divorce when I see the Hierophant in conjunction with that. Um, the Two of Swords, of course, underneath as well is a sense of indecision of not being able to make a choice as well. So I don't feel like they are going to reach out in the near future because there is a real concern that communication will cost them something they've already put some time and effort into. Um, the Four of Pentacles is sort of a hoarder card. It's like, I don't want to lose what I have, but I also want more. You know, like I want more, but I don't want to lose what I have. And I'm not willing to risk that at this present time, even though the... The affection that they have for you, the love that they have for you is there. They look at you with such beautiful feelings and it's a friendship vibe too. Like this could have started as friends. It, they wanted it to expand to more, but they never got the chance. Um, and they want that reunion. They think like they don't even remember the past accurately because of the way how rosy they look at you. And they do wish that they could have a, a brand new fresh start, an emotional new beginning with you. But there is hesitation, hesit I was going to say hesitancy and hesitation at the same time. There's hesitation from them in the future with the Hermit because the Hermit's not a card of action, it's a card of reflection. Still holding out that hope, still holding out hope for more in the future, but it's a card of reflection and not action in the future. So I don't feel like they're going to be able to come forward in the near future to contact you. Um, at this time, unfortunately, I hate being the bearer of bad news here. So let's get some um, current feelings from this person. How are they currently feeling? Now, the beautiful thing about tarot is the purpose of it is to see the past, the present and the future. So we can resolve and change things that are unbalanced so that we can get better outcomes in the future. So, you know, we can elevate our own energy to a point of happiness, abundance, feeling what we want from this connection in the future, in the present, so that we can um, manifest those feelings and those truths in the future, um, if that makes sense. I don't know if I even articulated that properly. Uh, we can't control other people's actions or their opinions of things. All we can do is work on our own situation. Um, so if this is mirrored energy if you yourself feel like you're stuck in some sort of position or role that you find very overwhelming or you wish that there were changes to you can elevate yourself how does this person currently feel it's like a shoulda coulda woulda i have to keep hearing that chemistry such a strong magnetic attraction here and in many cases they never got the chance to express that to you to elevate this to where they wanted to take it but they're still very much, um, they still think about you all the time. Like they still, they still wonder what could have been. It says, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. The way that he's looking at her, it's like their feelings for you were way more intense than how they thought you felt about them in the past. Like they, it's almost like a crush situation. Like they were really focused upon you. We do have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Um, there's a sense that they're mad at themselves. 
they're mad at themselves for for not leaping they're mad at themselves for um, not speaking up or not telling their truth um, and they feel deserving sort of, of where they're sitting in life right now because they're like I've, I've got to learn from my past if I want to make um, moves in the future but they're just not ready to make waves in their current situation how are they currently feeling please about group three yes and it was in the reverse it's like they want to say yes and they didn't say yes they want to say yes and they said no they want to say yes and they didn't act um, properly you're so very special 21 the world reversed um, wanting that reconnection wanting closure too and feeling like there's a lot of unfinished business between the two of you I never imagined so much perfection and it, again nine of Pentacles in the reverse position um, they feel like the situation right now is filled with setbacks and there's a lot of jealous feelings. I, I, I feel like in how they're feeling about you and your current situation too. They, they're they jealous even if they have no right to be. They feel jealous about um, anyone that gets to be with you, anyone that gets to spend time with you. And that jealousy has been something that they've had since I feel years ago. In many cases, this has been years. I think we should slow down slow down because they're worried about revealing their truth they don't know how you stand perhaps um, I often think of the seven of cups confusion overload they're not ready they're not ready yet they're still in the planning phase here with the seven and with this hermit underneath they're still in that that fantasy phase Unfortunately, I don't see them coming forward. I don't want to lose you, though. They're worried about the time it's taking them. They don't want to lose this connection in whatever capacity they figure they have it in at this moment. They fantasize about starting a family with you. Um, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but in some cases, I feel like there is already some sort of family in place for one of the people in this connection. <laughs> That's not for everyone. But it's like... It's like this sense of like if they have children, and this is, again, this is just an example. If they have children with someone else, they fantasize about you being the parent, the other parent to that child. Like they, it's not that they would give up their children if they have them. It's that they wish that they had children with you. Ooh. I feel the same way about you that you feel about me intense soulmate connection here perhaps for some of you with that six of cups that's a soulmate card i just wish things were different right now and i do imagine you naked <laughs> just slip, slipping that in at the end i imagine you naked i need time for me i need time to to retreat i need time to figure out my plan i need time to figure out what i need to do to put this reconnection into fruition for myself and that's why they are holding back to con um, reconnect with you or to come in to contact with you again what's their current feelings please oh my god it's an explosion i am manifesting us though they're in current manifestation mode and you know that hermit is very focused and very grounded and creates very solid plans of goals towards their action or sorry solid plans to um how do i want to say that they create solid plans of um action towards their goals thank you <laughs> i don't know how to express my love so i keep it inside of myself but don't think because we don't talk i don't want to because I do they want to reassure you that this is not a reflection of their true feelings it's just a reflection ooh, explosion it's just a reflection of their current physical state my nerves are getting the best of me. Sometimes, you know, ego is strong enough to, um, that fear of loss, that fear of being rejected is strong enough to keep us away. The tower is the rejection. And it's it's like, 
if I get rejected, that changes everything. It takes away all the hope that I've had and perhaps they've held on to hope for a really long time. And for some people, sometimes they feel like that's all they've got. You know, all they have is the fantasies. It kind of, I have that, that old song ringing through my ears. My mom used to play it all the time. Um, that song, I don't remember, I don't want to sing it, obviously, as you guys don't want to hear my, my voice, <laughs> but it just says, you know, the dream song, dream, dreams, if I want you in my arms, if I want you with all your charms, all I have to do is dream. It's like, if I can't have you physically, at least I can dream about it. At least I can have that. That's something we have telepathically communicate with me on the back of that deck. How are they currently feeling, please? What do you want from me? They're confused. They want assurances. <laughs> they want assurances that if they were, especially if they're risking something pretty profound or pretty solid in place, they want an assurance that, that this is going to work out, that you feel the exact same way. Am I too late? Has there been too much time? Oh, missing you comes in waves and tonight I am drowning. That's a song lyric. Losing you is my biggest regret. The sparks with you are undeniable. I daydream about you, but this is double sided and says I'm in love with you. I don't want to cause chaos in your life right now. That tower energy that could be your tower that they're worried about knocking over. It could be not their own tower, their own situation, but they could be very much aware of your situation. Um, we have the answer is yes here. Back of the deck says, I keep dreaming of the past. Let's get a charm bowl for you, my loves. Group three. Advice for group three about this person, the future of this connection. How are they truly feeling? Seven of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, we have the Two of Cups. So Death Soulmate energy here with that Two of Cups with the Six of Cups. Um, they want reconnection. And, you know, the Seven of Pentacles, it could really, honestly, it could take an actual uprooting of what they've planted in place, like a, a foundation that they've planted. It could literally be have to be torn out in order to pursue this. So there is hesitation. There's a sense of impatience, too, with that Seven of Pentacles. Um, and to be honest, in the present position, um, there is this essence of, like, you walking away and giving up hope or them, you know, it's like giving up too soon, giving up too soon or not giving up too soon, even energetically before I even put any effort in. It's like giving up on the situation before I've even attempted to overcome the obstacles here. Um, and that's, uh, that's a current energy. We have to always remember with tarot that it shifts and changes energy ebbs and moves and flows all the time. Um, so this could be just their mindset for today, but they are really thinking about how this solid foundation that they've been maybe planted or waiting to sort of reap the benefits of, it's going to have to be torn out um, in order to start, sort of pursue a relationship with you. So please take that as it resonates. Let's get some charms for you. I would like to sort of get a, oops, I've got a W. I'd like to get a larger charm cast bowl, but my husband made this for me this one he spun it from a piece of wood and my father-in-law made me this bowl so i they have such important connections to me that i don't want to i don't want to use anything else we have friend friend twice friend twice we have w we have um the mini mouse bow so a childhood connection again friendship with the pineapple and the desire for reunions we have the letter f as well my kids are shushing in the hall. Listen to them. We have the um, devil charm, uh, a sense of attachment, a sense of addiction to you potentially. Uh, we also have the, the turtle, which is a symbol of um, slow moving energy. Um, it is, it's focused energy. So I feel like the turtle always gets to where they want to go, <laughs> but it just takes a long time. So this could be a very long standing, no contact. We also have a, lipstick in the bowl which means they find you very attractive and very alluring we have the letter c 
We have the paw print, dogs or cats could be really important in your life right now. We have the empress, there could be motherhood involved here, there could be a mother figure, children could be a factor. It also speaks about abundance and how they put you up on a pedestal. We have the hanger, feeling like I'm being hung up. <laughs> Feeling like I've hung myself up to dry. It's a state of stagnancy. It sort of reminds me of the hanged man. We have the ornate moon too. Um, the ornate moon speaks about hidden feelings and not sharing um, my truth because I've pushed it below the surface because of my insecurities. A stuffed bowl for you, group three. All right, group number three, that is what I have for you today. Um, no contact, will they reach out? Uh, I'm sorry that I don't see that in the future of this connection, but it is not an indicator of their feelings and it's not an indicator of the end all be all. Of course, the future can shift and change um, just in the immediate future. We don't see contact here in this pile. Um, I do wish you the best of luck in this connection. Um, if it resonates with you, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to be a part of our family here and subscribe to this channel. And if you do, please be sure to hit your notification bell and drop me a little comment below, even a little heart emoji or something, um, because in that way I can enter you in for a chance to win a free monthly read that I offer. And hit your notification bell so that I can enter you in and notify you if you are the winner. Um, you can check out my Instagram as well. I do offer a chance to win a free mini read over there and you can check out my Etsy link below. That's where I offer my readings, um, my private readings. And if you go there and it's empty, it just means I've sold out from the day before and I do update the shop, um, daily. I've been starting to stagger the times that I release so that more people can get an opportunity to, um, purchase as well. But I really hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Take care.